if we had a different sex education which teaches us you know what homosexuality is or different gender identities are then so to, I think that would make my journey much easier Things around sex are confusing and complicated. Our mission is to make them less confusing. I came out quite late in my life uh, because, I think because of the culture or because of the sort of situation surrounding homosexuality in Japan, where I'm originally from. The sex education that I had received at school was almost non-existent. I wasn't told anything about homosexuality, I didn't even know the world and I just thought I was a kind of weird one that I shouldn't talk about. So it took a long time for me to actually come to terms with it. I started Sex Education Explorers because I had this 10-day residency with other European artists to sort of explore taboo topics in uh, theatre and dance for young people. The first of those residency happened in Edinburgh and the theme was gender and sexuality. My background is I was studying zoology at the University of Students in Japan and I was actually studying ecology and animal behaviour. And then that's when I thought, okay, there might be something that I could say from a kind of more zoological, biological viewpoint. This piece started as a solo piece, so I was the only performer. But uh, gradually, I felt urged to involve uh, more members from the LGBTQI plus community. So luckily, we now have two young non-binary performers and that I'm really, really pleased with. I became involved in the show about probably over a year ago now. Ever since I came out as non-binary, which was about two years ago now, I've been really keen to do a lot of queer theatre um, because I think it's really important to have visibility in theatre and I know that being a non-binary person and being on stage is really important. We've drawn on a lot of our own lived experience and I think that's really, yeah, influenced the characters and the, and the story that's told. My truth is an ongoing search for my gender identity and sexuality. I came out as non-binary about two years ago and I started taking testosterone about 10 weeks ago. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo! So Sex Education Explorers is a entertaining, funny uh, and informative show we go through evolutionary journey together with the young people. That's what our ancestors uh, could have been and what our future generation could be and what we are right now. I made some props that are uh I mean, so to, to explain uh, how the um, uh, sexual activities happen um, among the human beings. This is my vagina fascinator, and it's got a bit of fluid in it, and that's what's coming down here. This is our third show today, so we're kind of getting to, into the swing of it a little bit now. Um, good to have a couple uh, like preview runs, kind of iron out any issues that are there. But yeah, now kind of it's getting its flow a bit better. So I think after this run, we're quite keen to be able to take it into schools, have a workshop as well, perhaps. I share the development process with one of the schools in Edinburgh. I think it's really important to teach understand this piece. Ultimately, uh, they will decide if you know, we can have this piece uh, in their school. What's really important to me is that this piece works as a kind of starting point of the conversation rather than sort of this is what you have to believe and do. It's funny, it's, it's joy, and whoever you are, whoever you love, that's, that's great. <laughs>